Welcome back, Market Snipers. This is Jesse, a little after 5 p.m. my time, and we have an opportunity alert. Here we go, opportunity alert. One of the AI stocks, I did a top five AI stock pick video 11 days ago, and one of those stocks, and you can go back and take a look at that video back here, uh, just from 11 days ago, top five AI stock picks. One of those stocks is starting to break out. It's breaking the downward trend line again. And this time we had a pending buy signal pretty much all day today. Uh, and now with the daily close, we now have a buy signal on Unity. Unity Software Inc. Remember, none of this is financial advice. This is only for educational purposes only and for entertainment purposes. This stock, AI stock, is high risk, potentially high reward. Let's dive right into the charts. Here we go. Zooming out here on the weekly chart, you can see there's a pending reversal candle down here. So let's kind of zoom in here. There's a pending reversal candle after a quick wick down uh, last week, wicked all the way down to $22 on Friday, and then came back up and closed up here at $20. Now we have on the weekly, right? And now we have a pending weekly reversal candle, and then you start getting weekly candle closes back above the trending dots then becomes even higher probability. And then if it starts, you know, with the pending buy signal on the weekly chart after that becomes a higher probability. Long term, we have long term bullish divergence going all the way back to June of 2022. Pretty close to even like May 2022, all the way to here on uh, October, right? And so now we're just looking for a potential higher low on the weekly chart <clears throat> and you can see our size kind of trending back up our side in the weekly chart is at 42 the caution is there's no buy signal on rsi there's no buy signal on uh the sharpshooter candles 3.1 and you know it's still it could be the bottom right and at some point it's going to put in a higher low it's it's extremely early right we don't even have a buy signal on the weekly chart so it's extremely early. And we kind of zoom out here. Unity software hasn't even been around long enough to have a 200-week moving average. So what I did was I went here and changed it to 140-week moving average. Just, you know, I wanted to try to find like the highest round number that I could. And there was no 150, no 160, 170, 180, 190, 200-week moving average, right? So this is the... 140 week moving average and you can see the price is coming in right around 69 dollars if you kind of look at the trajectory of of it it hasn't retested probably the 140 week moving average since probably april 2022 before that big drop down so it's been going through this bottoming phase since may of 2022 we're looking at a year and a half right a year and a half so that's the weekly chart we have a pending reversal candle. It's not even back above the trading dots yet. RSI is trending up though. It just hit 42 and uh, there is no MACD bullish crossover yet. However, let's drop down the daily chart and take a look at it. The daily chart. So it had this nice bounce up here, right? So it had a nice bounce up here to about a hundred from wick to wick about a hundred and call it 104%. Then after the reversal candle, it went into correction mode. And from that wick here down to this wick here, it was almost a 56, uh, almost a 56% correction over 110 days. Talk about a nice consolidation, a nice uh, coiling up, right? It, this thing has a lot of potential that could possibly explode. One other thing I want to point out before we start getting into the targets, and I'll put those targets on here, is that you know I don't trade based off of fundamentals whatsoever. I don't trade based off of the news or anything. I do want to point out one thing though, right? Unity software. And I did talk about this on the live streams, and I did talk about this, I think, on the AI stocks as well. But three quarters in a row, they've increased what they what their estimate was going to be. It was it was estimated to be negative back here in quarter one of 2023. Then estimate of to be positive in quarter two, positive in quarter three. All three of these higher estimates were beaten, 
right? So 195% surprise to the better of what they expected of a slightly uh, negative number. And then 190% surprise positive of their increase of what they're going to do earnings wise. And 89% higher than what their 90, I'm sorry, 89% surprise of their higher expectations of, of quarter three too, right? So, so the fundamentals are there. And just, just to kind of like let you know, an, another reason why I don't trade fundamentals is there was positive earnings on the ninth, right? So on the ninth, if you, if you take this off for a second, it closed here at about $25, right? Positive earnings comes out in a, and beats the expectations by 89%. And they gap it all the way down to $22.27 roughly overnight, right? So positive earnings and they gap it down. So that's why it doesn't matter, right? You know, Maybe it's good to like stay out of it uh, because of earnings, right? Because you don't know if they're going to push it up or push it down. But that's not the way I play it. I play it basically off of the charts only. Even on the daily chart, you've got all this bullish divergence going back to August 2023. This is looking like a higher low here on RSI. So you got bullish divergence. Uh, is that is that bullish divergence as well? Uh, yeah, that's bullish divergence as well, all the way there. And then this is starting to look like the higher low. So higher low on the daily chart after bullish divergence. You know I love that, right? You know I love the higher low. That's a higher probability. MACD already had the bullish crossover. It's trending up towards the zero line. It's starting to gain momentum, not only on the daily chart, but also the weekly chart. And just to backtrack here real fast before we get into the targets, before we get into the targets, uh, look at that. It was price had reached, was November 2021. So it's it's been going through a bear market for two years. So Unity Software, November 15th, that's almost around the same time that Bitcoin went, peaked as well, right? So Unity Software peaked at $208. You can see that that's a huge, massive drop. And then it bottomed out from May 2022 all the way till now. And we have a pending reverse candle. So kind of drawing this from here, right? From this wick all the way down to this wick here, you got 89.62% off from the all-time highs. And you can see this wick came back, basically retested this wick here yesterday, right? And now it looks like it's po possibly going to take off to the upside. And so let's put on the targets here. We've got shorter-term targets and we've got longer-term targets. So you can see that I, I kind of drew this out. There's about a... 89% drop, right? And the consolidation has been going on since, so this wick here, November, 2023, you're looking at 721 days, call it two years, right? Call it two years of consolidation. And here we are, right? Let's kind of zoom in here on the shorter term. Let's drop back down the daily chart. I pulled this fractal out. It doesn't mean the fractal is going to uh, play out. But the first two days is playing out very similarly, right? So I have this fractal here, the second fractal, the second daily candle close. Actually, you'd put it like this for like timing wise, but I just moved it over so you can see the candles and you can see that the, so again, it was starting to break out here, fake out, start, close above here, fake out, close above here, fake out, push all the way back down, push all the way back up with the candle close back above. Less likely of a fake out now. Looks like follow through to the upside. It was a pending buy signal all day today. And now we have a buy signal, right? So buy signal on the daily chart. It's possible we come up and hit target one. It's possible we hit target two. Possibly target three. Possibly target four. These are shorter term targets, right? Shorter term targets based off of the daily chart. Eventually, we're going to see a higher low get put in. Another one, right? A higher low on a weekly chart. Once it does, then we can start looking at these longer term targets to the upside. So if there was, say, a breakout like this, and then a higher low gets put in, 
then I would expect, then I would say these targets are on the table. About that time, about just as we saw with crypto, right? Just as we saw with crypto and Bitcoin. Once we start seeing price up in up in here, uh, about $33, I'm guessing, uh, maybe target two, target three, $36, we could possibly be seeing a buy signal or a pending buy signal on the weekly chart, whether it's this week or it's next week. I would probably guess that it's probably going to be if we got the reversal candle this week and it closes with the reversal, assuming it does, and or above the trending dots this week or next week, it may be this week. I think it's less likely. Maybe the second week it closes back above the trending dots and it's back up and up into target two, and then possibly uh, the second or third candle we could get a pending buy signal, maybe up in around target two or three, target four possibly even. And then after that point, if we get a buy signal on the weekly chart, then I would be expecting to come up and hit this longer term target where the hundred and forty week moving averages is. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to comment on this video. Feel free to hit me up in the Discord. I'm happy to answer any questions in the Discord as well. With that, thank you so much. Thank you for all your support. I appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one.